We know you bought this weed. That makes you part of a drug conspiracy. Now you give up your supplier, or else we're gonna charge you as an accessory to drug trafficking. I'm gonna remain silent, I'd like to see a lawyer. I'm gonna remain silent, I'd like to see a lawyer. If you're being interrogated or you're under arrest, these magic words are your best legal protection. They're kind of like a legal condom. Say them with me. I'm going to remain silent. I'd like to see a lawyer. I seen you drop this, man. Just admit it's yours. It's a slap on the wrist. You make things difficult for me, and I'll charge you with possession and evidence tampering. That's a felony. Don't get tricked. You know what to say. If police pressure you to snitch, you need a lawyer. Use the magic words. Officer, I'm going to remain silent. I like to see a lawyer. But remember, just because you ask for a lawyer doesn't mean they have to stop questioning you. If you keep talking, your words might still be used against you, so shut your mouth until you've seen a lawyer. But when do you actually get a lawyer? That depends. If you keep your mouth shut, you might not even need one, but if you're arrested and charged with a crime, you need help. If you can't afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you by the court. The point is that you can't talk your way out of a police interrogation without a lawyer. That's a big mistake. Almost anything you say to the police can and will be used against you in court. But what if the police try to make you sign a confession or something? Don't sign anything without a lawyer. And don't rely on the police to explain what it says. Read it for yourself. Usually, the only document that's safe to sign is a promise to appear in court. 